Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. Welcome to the They Pray, Pray on Your Downfall series. Welcome to anybody that may be new. My name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. I uh, channel messages intuitively. I am an empath, and I am clairaudience, so you will hear music playing in the background. Uh, and those messages that come out in the music, uh, either by... The title of the song, the lyrics of the song, the name of the artist, um, they tend to blend beautifully with what comes out with the tarot cards. Um, right now we have Spando Ballad, and this is called True. So I do feel like with True, I feel like you're being very, um, you're being real with yourself. You're being honest with yourself. Um, I feel like you've noticed that somebody hasn't been honest or truthful because I'm getting the word truthful from true. Um, trust what you're feeling around people. Trust your inner gumption around people. Um, I also feel like there's um, there's some false folks around you. Um, so you got to be mindful of that as well. Uh, I, I, f I feel like people aren't being their authentic selves um, because one of the words that was coming up to me, uh, coming up, um, when I was, you know, preparing for your reading was for the past couple of days, I kept hearing the term inconspicuous enemy, the inconspicuous enemy. And, um, yesterday, uh, a la you know, yesterday in the wee hours of the AM, I was hearing an owl, um, outside of my window. And so, um, we already know owls are, um, indicative of change, um, and change that's coming very rapidly. But it also could really be um, telling you that there's some things around you uh, that you may not be seeing uh, correctly. So you may need to use your intuition in order to hone in on what is really happening because there could be like an illusion going on. And so it's calling for you to use your intuition. It's calling for you to really be discerning. So just be mindful of the fugazis that could potentially be around you. Be sure to establish boundaries um, and also speak your truth. Um, stand up in your power. Say what's on your heart. Um, don't bite your tongue for anyone. Um, so that's just what I'm picking up from this song. Uh, for anyone that may be new, my, my readings are general so my spiel is eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply let it fly by do not try to force a story to be your story know that you're more than just your sun sign so check your moon your rising your venus your mercury your mars check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you if you are unsure of how to do that go and generate your natal chart and it will tell you all of your placements you could click the link down below uh, that says natal charts and it will take you there and you could just generate your um, birth chart. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video pops up in your timeline or in your feed, just know that that was divine timing. That was intended for you to watch and view this video. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So more to be, ashe, ashe, ashe. So true is still playing. So definitely be true to yourself. You know, don't allow anybody to persuade you or to manipulate you into anything. Be true to yourself. Okay, that's another message that I'm getting. So if somebody comes around you, Always trust your inner gumption, your inner wisdom. If somebody is coming around and you're getting this feeling that's uneasy, trust that. If somebody's trying to convince you to do something you already said no, and they're just kind of trying to lay it on thick to get you to do something, 
still, you know, stand firmly on your ground. Stand up for what you believe in and, and stay true to yourself. No is no. OK, um, if somebody doesn't respect your boundaries, then you need to make sure that you draw the line in the sand and you let them know that this is what it is and you're not wavering. OK, that's what I'm gathering from that. Right now we have Earth, Wind and Fire, and this is called Sun Goddess. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the death card. So we're opening up the reading with your energy. So Scorpios, I see that you've been through a major change. And not only have you gone through changes, but you have transformed. Um, not only have you transformed, but I feel like you've gone through some sort of startling metamorphosis. It has uh, completely transformed the way that you're looking at the world, the way that you are. I feel like you have almost like emerged someone completely different. And with this sun goddess, I feel this has been a change for the better. Um, sun goddess is saying that you are like this beacon of light. You're this empress. You know your worth and value. Um, you are very powerful. You're very abundant, very maternal, very creative. So you're birthing like new ideas, new ways of thinking. And this is making you very radiant, very attractive. Um, and this could be the reason why there are some folks praying on your downfall because perhaps whatever they thought was going to kill you only made you stronger because the death is showing that there was absolutely a betrayal. Um, there was some painful endings, a loss, um, emotional loss. I feel a uh, heaviness uh, with this card. But I feel, as I said, that this has caused um, you to change, to change not just who you were, but to also change um, your perspective. Uh, you may have gone through some sort of change of belief systems, ideologies, perspectives. Um, you've, re you've purged yourself of things that no longer serve you or your highest good, um, including the people around you. Maybe you've relocated, moved away um, because of the environment wasn't healthy or conducive of your betterment. Um, I just see that there was a complete 180 with you, that you have completely emerged uh, someone different, someone that has evolved or gone through some major ascension. Um, this is leveling up, uh, you know, because for Scorpios, Scorpios are very fixed sign, so change is often very difficult for uh, Scorpios to encounter. But I feel that you had no choice but to uh, change, but to, you know, kind of pivot. And that's exactly what you did. And you have this power, this radiance, this beauty, um, and this energy, this chemistry, this synergy about you that is very attractive. It's very alluring, uh, with the sun goddess playing. So I feel like you're really going to start attracting like your soul tribe, uh, like minds because you have changed uh, tremendously. So all of the, the old, it's like out with the old and in with the new type of energy, just on a split. That's beautiful. So what we look at that, I can't make this up. Lady goddess is, is here. So the death card, and then you got lady goddess, and then we have sun goddess playing by earth, wind and fire. So everything that I said, the divine is like ditto. I'm a ditto that. So you are the divine feminine, even if you're masculine, this is speaking to you being that divine masculine, someone who's very beautiful, very attractive, very alluring. Um, you're also a master manifester. You can see she's sprinkling the stardust and you're creating, um, co-creating with source. Um, you're also very much that um, very delicate, you're delicate like a flower, but you're also very strong. Um, very powerful as well, uh, because it takes strength, you know, for, you know, a rose, that's a rose, you know, sometimes roses, they can, they can grow in some of the most, um, most amazing places, like a rose can grow from concrete. Um, it's in, it's, it's, so this is really, to me, indicative of strength, beauty, power, um, self-love, you know, knowing your worth. And I feel that you've transformed into this, this energy. So this is you emerging as this lady goddess, the divine feminine, the creative. So that's beautiful. Thank you, Spirit, for that. So let's see. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? So, so far, we see you have changed. You are the magician. This is the co-creator. 
as the alchemist, you know as above, so below, as within, so without. You are the great magi. So you create the potions and the elixirs to life. You know, this is someone who's a great healer. You know how to heal thyself. And when you heal thyself, you know to love thyself. When you love thyself, you know thy worth. You know your value. You know your 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 priceless. And so this is the energy of you like really, really creating, you know, really, really nurturing that that power that you possess. This is also, you know, remaining hopeful and optimistic, even if things have changed, you know, all of the the pain that you've endured with the death, all of the sudden loss, all of the betrayals that you could have gone through, the deceit, the lies, all of the gossiping, all the smear campaigns, all of the fakes, fugazis, the snakes, the frenemies, the enemies, everyone speaking to you and at you with a forked tongue. It's like you've learned to heal thyself. You've become that healer. And as a healer, you had to first heal thyself. So you've applied those those techniques to yourself. Now you can help others heal. So it's like people see you as very grounded. Um, you are the magician. Look at that. You're very magical. You're very mysterious. You're very powerful. Some of you could be uh, utilizing candle magic, um, you know, to, to change your circumstance. Um, you're definitely setting intention. So you could be using this full moon, this pink moon, which is today, to really manifest. Maybe something that you've been manifesting is going to come into fruition. It's going to manifest in this physical reality shortly, soon. See that? You are the high priestess. So you're very wise, you know. You're very sensitive to energy. You speak energy. You feel energy, you know. And that's why I was saying trust your inner gumption, your inner wisdom. Don't allow anyone to persuade you or to convince you to do things that you know intuitively aren't going to be good for you. You know, it's your responsibility to stand in your power, to speak your truth, and to never back down. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's cut this deck. So I see winter here. So there's something that's dead, something that's over. I feel like, you know, the winter is very symbolic of death, of endings. So something could have happened in the winter time. Um, or this is just saying that, you know, there's something that's dead, uh, stinking and buried. So let's go ahead. We're going to cut the deck. See who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. I'm going to cut it three times. And so right now we have um, Third Eye playing uh, by Roy Ayers. And you know me, I call the Third Eye the First Eye. So as I just said, use your intuition, use discernment. You are the high priestess, the high priest. So that means you are very connected. You are spiritually strong. You are spiritually aligned. So trust what you're already feeling, sensing and know. OK, you you know, your spidey senses could be going off. All right. So this is about protection. So the divine is letting you know that you are protected. The divine is also telling you to protect yourself. Use your first eye because whoever is praying on your downfall, it's like they're aware that you're spiritually strong. And so they could be like summoning or invoking some type of um, energy or they could be even um, trying to get some some outside entity, a practitioner or someone else to try to work roots on you or juju on you so it's like this circle of protection is necessary um if you don't know this is like um um uh this is one of the practices that you are to implement whenever you are doing your magic is you are to create a circle of protection some people use salt um other people just use you know just uh, envision themselves in a circle of protection. They may summon perhaps their angels, you know, call upon, I should say, their angels to provide um, protection from each direction, um, from each cardinal direction, east, west, north, north, and south. There's an angel of each direction. Um, but with this first eye playing, the third eye playing rather by uh, Roy Ayers, I feel like this is really telling you to protect yourself. But this is also saying that your angels and guides are protecting you. Because it says protection. So the circle of protection is here letting you know that you are you are being spiritually protected from any type of of spiritual warfare. Look at that. And guardian is right underneath that. So your angels, your guides, you have the guardian here. So that's like Artemis, you know. So you are familiar with these threats. These are people that you know. 
These are people, the divine could also be saying that this could be like people within your circle, within your cipher. So you have to be very mindful, you know, because at the end of the day, with, with this guardian here, I feel like the divine is saying that you are spiritually protected. You and your loved ones are spiritually protected because these could be people from within your own cipher, your own friend group, your own, uh, you know, maybe even your colleagues, people in your neighborhood, like this is letting you know. And so with this, you could see this cat has a star on the first eye. And remember, third eye is playing. Well, the third eye, but the third eye is playing by Roy Ayers. So your guardians, cats are very impervious to threat. So this is saying use your intuition, trust what you're feeling. This is just like double, triple, quadruple confirmation. So listen to this message. This is, this is really um, also, um, some of you could have cats, black cats. But trust your intuition, beloved, especially when it comes to certain people's energy, because I feel you're so you're so sensitive right now. I feel you're super sensitive right now. And, you know, one of those reasons is because of the full moon. I feel like you you could also have like some really, really lucid dream activity right now um, for some of you all. Uh, if you want to know who your enemies are, um, what you could do. As you could get like a glass, like a champagne glass or just a regular glass and you could fill that glass up um, with spring water or um, even holy water. If you have if you have access to that um, and you could go to a church and just collect some of that holy water that's there at the church or you could uh, you could pray into uh, your spring water, Psalm 91 or Psalm. I said Psalm 91, Psalm 23 or Psalm 91. Um, and that could bliss the water, you know, protect the water for you. Um, <clears throat> and then you take a bay leaf and of course you, you cleanse it, you, 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 you charge it up, you put your intentions into it and you take a marker and you write, reveal my enemies on that bay leaf. And you take the bay leaf and then you rub it around your person, around your head mainly, so that your dreams will become available um, or accessible, I should say. And then you call upon your deities, um, call upon your, your angels, your guides, your spirit team to reveal to you who your enemies are. You just write, reveal my enemies, and you take that bay leaf, you place it in the water, and then you take a crystal, a couple of crystals you could take crystal quartz, selenite, angel aura quartz, you could take amethyst, you could take um, the um, um, the moonstone and you place it around the cup and you place it right beside your um, your nightstand and you leave it there for seven days and well, whomever comes to you in your dreams that is your, those are your enemies. Um, I've done this. <laughs> and so uh, you'll be shocked. I'm going to let you know this right now. So if you don't want to know, then I wouldn't do it. But if you want to know who it is, because you'll be surprised, like who really um, isn't rocking with you like that. So do that for seven days and voila. But we have here the guardian. So for some of you all, um, not some of you, you all are protected. You may have angels, um, you know, like I said, ancestors in the spirit realm, and they could be protecting you. They could also be guiding you, giving you little nuggets of information, divine interventions, sending you messages via your dreams, or just like sending you, um, you know, trans transmitting messages to you so that you could keep, keep your eyes open, so that you can continue to protect yourself. Um, right now we have Kem. And this is called inside. So like I said, these are people that are inside your circle, your family circle. These are people who are your colleagues, people that live within um, the same complex or community, neighborhood that you live in. Um, people that could even live in your home if you live with other people. So keep your first eye open. You know, trust your intuition. Trust that inner gumption. Um, and never sway. Like if something doesn't feel right, don't go, you know, don't ever... Um, ignore what you're, what you're feeling. 
Um, always trust that inner wisdom, okay? So let's see. Who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why? What is this person's energy? Let me get a message from my beautiful spirit, please. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? Thank you. See that? We got secret just came out. Book of Shadows. So as we just said, <laughs> secret. And then we got inside. So I'm hearing inside job terminology. I'm hearing inside job. This is an inside job. So these, this, these are people that are really close. They're in a close vicinity. They have access to you. I feel this is also the divine telling you to work your magic, to do what you need to do to protect yourself by any means, any strategy. Some of you already have your own book of shadows. A book of shadows is literally your recipe book, recipe book for like your spells, your ritual works that you have tried and tested and saw um, were efficient and effective. So this is almost like, you know, this is your recipes of things you've done that you know work. So perhaps you need to go and um, start assessing that recipe book. Maybe it's telling you you need to start working on your spells more. Uh, whatever this is, this is saying with the secret, you also have some secret haters. You know, the people that's praying on your downfall, um, these are people that you wouldn't even suspect, I feel. Because with inside, you know, playing... And then we have these these messages um, showing that there are uh, some folks that are really, really not rocking with you here, especially with this protection card. And we also had the guardian. Um, the divine is telling you that they're keeping it very hush how they truly feel. So you're going to have to use your intuition. They could be studying you as well, kind of studying you, learning from you, watching you, because this book is uh, very is very symbolic of like learning. So somebody's watching and stalking and studying you and you're very protected. I feel the divine is also telling you to protect yourself with this awakening. I feel like you are going through, like I said, that, that startling metamorphosis where you could be waking up. You could be going through some sort of uh, awakening, some sort of spiritual uh, awakening. And this is something that others are like paying close attention to. They're seeing how you're coming into the spiritual alignment. You're building the spiritual strength. And with inside, um, this is bothering some, like somebody's really uh, feeling like bothered by the awakening, the, the evolution of you, the growth of you. And with these two um, cows, you know, cows are in some parts of the world, uh, very sacred animal totems. And so I feel like you are in a very sacred space. So you're really, um, I feel like you're detached. Um, you're unplugged. You're not really communicating with some of these people, which is why they're secretly kind of watching you, learning you, studying you. Um, and with inside, I just get a feeling, you know, I was hearing inside job. So this is somebody that's like really inside a circle, inside a family group inside some sort of um i'm hearing too close for comfort so this could be like um threatening if you aren't protecting yourself okay so who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why you have a message of love and light so with this secret thank you spirit and then this card those two cards were kind of poking out so it says dedication so some of you all you could be really dedicating a lot of time in front of your altars. You could really be, and if you aren't, you need to. You need to start building that relationship, building that connection with your angels and your guides. The same book that is here on the altar is the same book of secrets here. So perhaps your angels and guides are really instructing you that it's time to start honing your skills, mastering your craft in terms of your magic. You need to start really working your magic. You need to start really um, building your wealth of knowledge and dedicating more time, strengthening those bonds. Some of you are already doing that. And we have every little thing I do. So maybe somebody is really watching every little thing that you're doing. Somebody's really um, keeping tabs on you. It's like they're study. I just get a sense of studying because this book is just like really standing out 
even when I look at this card, the book really stands out. So, you know, it's like somebody is really studying you, really trying to learn you. And that's why this protection is there because the divine is telling you, you have to protect yourself because somebody is really, somebody could be watching, you know, even if you have, say, some sort of social media or if you have some sort of online, um, some sort of online platform, it's like people are studying you. They're dedicated to watching, stalking, learning. And I feel like the divine is telling you, you need to, you need to protect yourself. You know, you need to connect with your divine ancestors, guides, so that they could protect you as well. I feel you need to also give offerings. You know, you may need to do um, an offering to your deity so that they can continue to protect you. Because I do feel you are protected. I feel like your angels and your guides are protecting you because we did see that guardian and familiar. So it's like you're these people that you are familiar with that are familiar with you. Your guardians are, you know, really telling you trust that gut instinct because third eye was playing by Roy Ayers. And then that cat that was on the card had a star right on the third eye or the first eye. So let's see. We got R Wiccan rule. So somebody's trying to do something that's against the, you know, the bylaws, if you will, because this is like a bylaw, the Wiccan rule. And somebody is going against it. They're not obeying. They're not obedient. And this is somebody very dedicated to observing, watching, studying and learning you. Every little thing you do, they're watching. Every little thing you do, they're stalking. They're clocking cleansing you need to cleanse yourself spiritual baths you need to do a spiritual bath you need to purge you need to release you need to let go some of you need to do like a release ceremony because with this water and cleansing you need to really cleanse yourselves a spiritual bath is necessary security see this and we have security on the bottom of the deck so what i feel this is like somebody is really trying to um they're trying to get past your defenses. That same black cat is on this card that was showing up. That same black cat is right there. So, th and that card was guardian. So I do feel like you are protected. Your, your angels are not going to let anything get past your defenses. But I do feel like someone is trying to get past your defenses. You know what I mean? Every little thing you're doing... Um, Somebody could be trying to counter it. Somebody could be trying to figure out some sort of spell work to to infiltrate is what I heard. Infiltrate. But I do feel like you're on guard, you know, like you and, and if you aren't, you need to be. But the circle of protection and then for the card um, security to be on the bottom of the deck. I definitely feel like this is the divine really telling you that um, you need to be on guard. So you have to set up your defenses here. You know, maybe you already have, but there is somebody trying to penetrate, somebody trying to get past your defenses. What we have here playing right now is Luther Vandross here and now. And we got autumn and then we got cycles and then we got prosperity. So somebody could be trying to, you know, uh, block your blessings. This prosperity card is letting me know that the divine is like giving you some sort of wish fulfillment. This is like a miracle. This is you being like uh, financially free, successful, living in opulence. I feel it's because you have completed some sort of karmic lesson or you paid off some sort of karmic debt. It's like you're trusting the cycles and rhythms of your life, you know, and when something feels like it's it's reached its uh, peak or it's done, then you're, you you need to walk away from it. Trust your intuition. The moon is speaking to, I feel the full moon. So maybe there will be some things illuminated. Um, and this is also saying like, you know, heavy dream activity could be taking place at this time. With autumn, this is your season as well. Some of you, your names could be autumn. Um, but I am sensing like with this autumn, that's when things are changing. So I feel like you, you know, maybe during your solar return, because that's, you know, the autumn time is during, you know, uh, <clears throat> Scorpio season this is when 
you know, that, that major change and transformation took place. You know, whenever you get to uh, Scorpio season, the veil is, is thinner, you know. Um, but I feel like that's also when you are very in tune, you know, very, very in tune. Because the veil is thin, so you are very sensitive during that time. A cleansing is necessary for real, for real, though. If somebody is really trying to work their, their juju on you, you. So we look what we have on the bottom of the next deck, carnucopia. We just saw prosperity, so carnucopia. So the divine is blessing you. This is like the divine is rewarding you because of everything you've endured. The first card we saw from the witch's wisdom was the death card. So it's like the divine is rewarding you because you've gone through something that was very painful. It was a painful loss. It was a painful ending. But you were able to get back on your feet. You know, um, you realize whatever wasn't growing was dead. And so you had no choice but to change, but to transform. So now there's like this, this, this harvest, this blessing from the divine that's going to be showered down upon you. And it's going to come here and now. I feel like the rewards are starting to open up to you um, because you have since cut yourself free. See that? So we got the woman holding a coin. So this is you being self-sufficient, self-reliant, independent, very stable, very secure. Um, and this could be the reason why there's a lot of hatred, jealousy, people studying you, um, baffled. I'm hearing the word baffled, like they're baffled at how you were able to recover, how you were able to require um, this sense of independence or this blessing. It's like they're, they're almost questioning, like, why do you have it? How come you're blessed? How come you have this this blessing? So they're trying to bring drama your way, trying to distract you trying to bring negativity. And that's why the divine was like protection and security. So stay on guard. I feel you're very sensitive, you know, as we said, um, these are people you're familiar with. These are people you walked away from because they brought nothing but drama, because they were nothing but burdensome, because they was toxic, they was deceitful, they was hating. So you walked away from that energy, gave these individuals chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity to change, to evolve, to grow, to show you something different. And all they did was bring the drama. All they did was bring heaviness, toxicity. This was potentially somebody that you were in a family relationship with, maybe the mother or father to your child. You had to walk away from that connection because it was no longer fulfilling you. You know, maybe you were walking away to have, you know, uh, standing up for what you believe in in regards to what this family dynamic pertains you know, it's like you're not wavering from this idea of having this happy house, happy spouse. So it's like you're walking away from something toxic, toxic so that you can walk towards something that's going to make you happy. Um, and this could be the reason why people are praying on your downfall, because you stood erect. You stood perpendicular in your square. And this is going to be somebody that's like the yang to yin. A positive change is coming in. And intuitively, you know this. Archangel Metatron is dealing with the first eye. And remember, we had Roy Ayers singing um, the third eye and then we also had the guardian um, with the cat with the star on the third eye so this is really saying that you're highly intuitive and maybe you could sense that you have a divine um, counterpart that's coming in um, maybe this is just telling you to um, you know to use emotional intelligence moving forward like don't Try to appease and please. Don't self-sabotage. Don't overcompensate. Like, you know, take action as necessary. Do not allow anybody to uh, manipulate you emotionally, mentally, um, or even spiritually. Like, don't let anybody's words, uh, you know, manipulate you. So we have um, Tweet. And the name of the song is Complain. So some of you all, you know, if you are complaining... You know, don't you, you shouldn't be complaining about anything because I do see that you've you've come out of something that was really toxic um, and you you've come out of it on top. You know, you know who you are. You just need to release. So the bottom of the deck is going to clarify the protection card and we have adjacent possibilities. So didn't I say this is somebody who's like trying to figure out a way to penetrate, you know, trying to infiltrate this cottage you're protected though you're in a circle of protection so with this adjacent possibilities this is like literally somebody trying to figure out strategize you know 
how to get through, how to break down your, your defenses, you know, how to knock down those defenses. And I feel like with you, um, you're picking up on it because this 24 is six. And that's why we had that third eye. So it's like you're familiar with who these people are uh, because these are people who have access. They're, they're, they, they have access to you. Um, these are people you walked away from and they're perturbed by that. These are people that, you know, are complaining about you, complaining about how um, guarded you may be, um, how, you know, you have these boundaries. Um, these are people that could be potentially like gossiping about you to other people, um, running smear campaigns, trying to defame your character. Because we have, like I said, tweet. Somebody could be literally tweeting negative messages or posting negative um messages online about you or trying to um, sway people's opinion of you. Uh, this is because you, you stood perpendicular in your square and you said, pardon my back. You walked away from this toxic ish. This is like competitive energy, somebody who's in a secret competition with you. Um, and I feel like because you knew you had, you know, uh, you, you have this self love. I feel like you literally moved away. I'm getting a sense of like that six of swords. So you moved away and you created like some sort of boundary um, and also like a sacred space, like a place where nobody could, you know, step into, you know, overstep those boundaries. So that's what the security is. This is like building that 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 safe haven, um, that sanctuary. Uh, and you're very guarded, you know, there. So it's like you walked away and somebody is taking it very personal. And with complain, they're complaining about this newfound strength, this new person um, that has changed. Why is a uh, secret here? So look at this. You discovered some secrets. There were some things that came out. Somebody's heart is broken. Um, and I feel like this was your, your heart that was broken initially uh, because there were some secrets that may have come out. Um, but we could clearly see you fought. You fought for that relationship. You may have put all of your energy, time, um, attention into that relationship, nurturing it, only for it to to end and result into a broken heart. Um, I definitely feel there could have been some sort of uh, root work or black magic um, that could have been done to cause this separation, this breakup, uh, because we do see this Book of Shadows, which is a spell book. Um, so somebody could have done like a separation um, ritual, a binding ritual. Um, somebody could have done something to uh, sabotage a relationship. Uh, what I see here is patience. So you were very patient in healing yourself. I feel like for many of you all, you really dedicated time um, building your relationship with your angels, your ancestors. Uh, you dedicated time connecting to that divine energy, to the divine. Um, perhaps you were giving offerings, lighting candles, uh, giving food offerings, putting flowers on your altars. Um, and you were very patient with the process. This was bringing you back into equilibrium, back into uh, balance, back into harmony. Um, the 16 reduces to seven. So I am feeling like, you know, this allowed for you to kind of move forward to find that balance. Because um, that seven is, is, is connected to the chariot so this is really like helping you to become more assertive also helping you to feel more confident in who you were um, the divine was really working on you to try to get you to um, you know discover your worth and value but more importantly to uh, build that confidence to build that that assertiveness um, and with dedicating I feel like you really relinquished the control because you surrendered to the divine um, by connecting to the divine, by listening to the the guidance uh, of your spirit team, it led to you realizing that patience was a form of action. So you continue working on yourself. So why is this dedication altar here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? So this revealed to you the secrets that were being kept from you. Slowly but surely, you started to, you know, really see what was hidden in plain sight. We have Jill Scott playing slowly, surely. So it's like slowly but surely you started to get those downloads. Um, as I said, some of you all were having lucid dreams. And I just shared with you how you could have um, your enemies revealed, you know, over the course of seven days. This is 
52 seven so some of you all may need to do that but i feel like your ancestors your angels your spirit team your guardians they were protecting you uh because you had a lot of things that were going on um that were hidden uh from you a lot of secrets a lot of lies a lot of um distorted versions of the truth remember we had spando ballot playing true so it's like the divine started to like hit you over the head with the truth, started to reveal things to you that you were not um, privy to. And you started to trust what you were feeling. This is divine downloads. Um, and this is now leading you to moving forward, to pushing onward. Um, and to also, it, it, it kind of like helped you to discover your power, you know, to come back into balance. Um, whatever was hidden is now illuminated. It's clear. You're trusting what you're feeling. Um, and you're no longer confused or delusional. And now this is opening you up to healthier connections. A man holding a heart is kind of watching you from a distance. Maybe there's a lot of communication telepathically or intuitively. I do feel many of you all could have been manifesting a new love, um, utilizing, you know, your book of shadows, um, Maybe this is just the divine like reminding you that is it's very necessary to abide by the laws uh, to not uh, take away anyone's free liberty when doing uh, magic. Maybe this is some of you all are doing love spells and maybe you are um, taking away someone's free free will and the divine is telling you not to do that. You have to abide by the laws. So maybe you shouldn't necessarily be, you know, putting someone's specific name and birth date and hair follicles and nail, whatever you're doing. It's like the divine is saying, bide the Wiccan law ye must. So it's like literally saying you have to be, you have to respect other people's um, boundaries and you cannot take away someone's free will and free liberty. But there is a wish fulfillment here. I feel like that's why the divine is telling you that you need to release the past. Uh, recharge your batteries um, and let go more importantly so why is this Wiccan rule uh, read here for who's praying or Scorpio's downfall I feel like this is also somebody who could be trying to take away your free liberties or trying to do something um, some dark magic and that's why you have the cleansing here because you have you need to clean clear and cleanse your energy so look at that this is why so this is someone who's very angry, you know, and they're being very persistent with slowly, surely this person is like, you know, slowly and surely approaching you with the drama. This is someone who's very hostile. So they could be very, um, you know, uh, they, they could be very threatening if you aren't, um, if you aren't prepared. But this is someone also very manipulative because I get like, with this 26, I get like the Eight of Swords. So they're coming at you very deceptive. And that's why with Wiccan Read, Bide the Wiccan Law. So this could be somebody really um, trying to cause confusion through gaslighting, mind fuckery, you know, mental and emotional manipulation. And this is somebody who's really hostile, really guarded, really negative in the way that they communicate. You know, and, and they're going to receive karma because this is also eight is the number of, you know, the uh, justice card. So it's like if somebody is, is, is taking away someone's free liberties, for instance, they're going to receive karma. You know, this is like karma dharma. And then we have um, debarge. Stay with me. So somebody could be trying to do magic to keep someone put, to keep someone to stay with them because we have El debarge or debarge. And this is saying, stay with me. So they're using manipulation. They're using manipulation, manipulative tactics. They're very hostile. You know, this is somebody who uh, feels, um, you know, like this is somebody who feels like they could do what they want. You know, they don't care about rules. They don't care about boundaries. This is somebody very toxic, very immature, you know, and cold blooded is what I also heard. This person is really, in, they feel entitled as well. It's like they're not happy with you, but they don't want you to be happy with anyone else also. 
And this is somebody that definitely is um, into dark magic or somebody that is very dark. They have a dark aura. I just get a very dark, dark aura. With yin yang, I feel like, as I said, you're going to have um, someone, you know, once you cleanse your energy and purify yourself, you could attract the yang to your yin. This is like your cosmic companion, twin flame soulmate. And this is why somebody could be very hostile because they want you to stay with them. But it is preordained, destined for you to meet your your twin flame, your soulmate. This is somebody who uh, could possibly be like another water sign because it says water. But it's like this is you needing to release your past, to purge, to clean, clear, cleanse your aura, do a spiritual bath, perform a release ceremony with this 2-2. Two -two. That's four. This is the yang to your yin. That's like 11-11. So this is like, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine. Remember, we did see goddess and we had sun goddess. So you're going to meet the um, your divine match. You're going to meet someone that is your divine match. With thinking woman, always use head over heart, logic, be wise. I feel like you are definitely highly intuitive and intelligent. You know, I feel like you've also been building your wealth of knowledge. You've been really in a very studious energy. So you could be, you know, really uh, seeking higher wisdom, higher knowledge, higher learning. You could be going to practitioners. You could be in school. You could be honing your skills, gifts, and talents. So let's see what we have. We're going to pull some messages from the, um, this is the, um, dark grimoire the bottom of the deck we have the nine of pentacles so that's what i was literally just saying is you've been building your wealth of knowledge and you've been honing your skills gifts and talents and the nine of pentacles is showing that the nine of pentacles is like that pre-emperor pre-emperor status it's like you got nine all on your own which shows you've been ver working very hard you know very studious very one track minded very focused on your goals uh, that's keeping your eyes on the prize. There goes the chariot. I mentioned the chariot. There it is. So, yeah, this is you, like, charging, you know, full steam ahead. You know, this is you, like, really um, being assertive, going after what you want. And there goes this this hate this j hateful person. You got the uh, two of pentacles here. So somebody who's really, like, gunning for you. And this was that person that wants you to stay with them. And you see how he's holding a sword and then this person is holding like a knife and he's trying to stab this person to death. So they're trying to force you to stay. So this is somebody that's very confused, right? You know, they could have been juggling you, juggling other people. And when you decided to leave, now look, there's a book there on the ground. And remember, you have this book of shadows and then you also have this book here. So this is the person that's been studying you and watching you, you know, observing you. Maybe they've been watching you build your wealth of knowledge and so they're feeling threatened because you're you know kind of like breaking free from the illusion that they were painting because they were so manipulative right now we have d'angelo chicken grease so this is a chicken because they're not even revealing their true face they're wearing this hood which means they were masked which means they were fake and fugazi this is somebody that is threatening didn't i say i was feeling like somebody was threatening and with this hostilities well, this is somebody trying to attack you, but they were sit, just singing, stay with me. So this person is trying to force you to stay with them, angered by you moving on and, 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 and having, you know, the stability, the security all on your own. See this single person, this is one person and then it going towards this castle because you've worked hard to achieve those goals and somebody's really jealous and perturbed. With chicken grease, I feel like this person is a chicken, like they they a bird, you know what I'm saying? Whether female or male. And the six of wands, trying to convince you to stay, trying to hand you something. And you're like, nah, I'm good. You see this person here? Your hands are flat down because you're not, you're not receptive. Because this is the same hooded person that was just trying to s stab you in the... In, so it's like, you see how they're hostility? So they're coming off trying to act like they're cool, calm, and collected. But when you reject them, that's when they turn into that person that was trying to stab you. That's when they try to attack you. And that's why I was saying threatening. Because this person 
is like they're trying to do whatever they can to get you to stay. But it's like you've done awakened to the truth. You went through some sort of awakening, some, some sort of transformation. Look at that, the Empress. I can't make this up. So you've transformed. You know your worth and value. And you're not settling for this nonsense anymore. You was dealing with somebody who was very toxic, who was very manipulative. And so now that you have evolved and ascended into this power, it's like they're in awe, you know, and not only are they in awe, but there's other people that you're going to be attracting in that energy and who you're going to attract is who you're meant to be with your divine feminine or divine masculine. This is something that this person here can't have because of ego, because of pride and because they're a, a straight bird. You know, we got chicken grease playing by D'Angelo. So they're a bird. This is somebody that is for everybody, but they don't want you to be able to, they don't want you to be happy. It's like they want to be, they want to control you. They're obsessive and possessive over you. So they don't want to be with you. They don't want to be committed to you, but they don't want you to have or find this true happiness, this true love, because this is stability. This is you like building a nucleus, a family, having a happy house, happy spouse, and, you know, once you get into that union, they know it's done, done, fin for them. So you are this lady goddess that was playing earlier, the divine feminine, the sun goddess, the divine masculine. You know, this is your energy. And this person sees that and knows that. So just as I said, they don't want to let you go, you know, because we just had stay with me. So they want you to stay with them, even though they toxic as hell. Who wants to stay with this type of energy? Bickering, fighting, arguing. Remember, we had... Um, um, dang, I forgot what was playing earlier and I was chiming in on that. Okay. So this is a bonus message. So we have the, uh, seven of pentacles. So this is really somebody that you really invested in. Um, you put a lot of energy, but you felt like it was just, it didn't lead to anything. You know, it was like, you put a lot of time, energy, love into the connection and you didn't feel like it was reciprocated at all. If anything, you felt like you was in the relationship alone. So bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Pentacles. See that? So we saw the prosperity card and then we saw, um, you know, we saw that prosperity card, uh, which is saying, you know, that the divine is rewarding you. This Ace of Pentacles is also saying that there is something tangible that you're going to achieve and it's protected. This is. To me, I feel like this could be in regards to both money and emotional fulfillment because the pentacles provide stability and stability will always make you feel very happy, very elated. I feel like the divine is saying that you and your loved ones are protected. Your finances are protected. If you have a business, it's protected. If you have a job and, you know, you may have some, some, you know, some jealous, envious, you know, difficult, um, people that you work around that's protected your money is good um even if you have uh within your own dynamic your your family dynamic your relationships i feel like the divine is saying they're blessing you with some sort of miracle some sort of abundance right now we have tlc creep so there is a creep that is and and the way they're saying creep is like i'm creeping around but what i heard in my mind's eye was there is a creep that's trying to figure out how to infiltrate or how to uh, get past your defenses. Um, they're using any tactic possible. But I feel like because you have the circle of protection it's, and it's because of the money. It's like this is somebody who's very greedy, somebody who feels entitled. Um, you can see here they're very hostile. So if they're hostile, that means they're not really thinking clearly. You know, this is a creep. This is somebody that's just really, really um, disturbed is what I'm hearing. So you got this Ace of Pentacles. So you're stable. You're you're good, you know. Um, and I also see this rat, you know. So this is somebody that is a rat, you know. And the rat I'm thinking of is like a rat in the, you know, in the sewage of New York City. Like just a sewer, sewer rat. Like just dirty, grimy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just, just stealing. Um, you know, trying to, to plot, plan and prepare um, any strategy to steal from you. This is somebody that's literally just kind of, like I said, just kind of stalking and watching, um, studying you as well. But rats in other cultures, such as Asian cultures, um, and even I believe in um, Hindu cultures, uh, they represent like abundance and free, you know, financial freedom. Um, 
what we see here is we have the, didn't I say somebody studying you and you got the page of swords and then here we got broken heart. Somebody feels broken hearted because you're guarded because you have set a boundary. And so, and because they done broke your heart, now they feel the hurt, the pain that you felt. This is somebody secretly watching. The Page of Swords is showing that. So I was picking up on somebody studying you. And this is literally somebody studying you. Somebody trying to, I'm hearing, emulate you as well. You know, it's almost like they're saying, if it worked for Scorpio, then let me see if it works for me. Maybe somebody's trying to steal your ideas. You know, somebody is really trying to steal something from you. But this right here is like they, they want to say something. This is a creep, though. You know, with TLC, creep. This, this is not somebody um, kind-hearted, you know, seeking forgiveness for heartbreak. This is a creep. This is somebody who intentionally caused this pain, somebody that you gave many chances to. And you finally walked away and said, I'm done, done, Finn. You, you, it was like access denied. And so now they have no... No op, no choice but to watch you, you know, and with this, this secret, they could be secretly doing some sort of spell work or trying to bind you, trying to cause pain, trying to cause separation. But with this page of swords, you do have some stalkers. You, this is like stalker alert. You know what I'm saying? Put that red signal on because this is letting you know, like there's definitely some eyes watching. So why is Book of Shadows broken heart here for my beloved Scorpios for who is praying on their downfall and why? We have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Okay, two cards just flew out. And look what flew out all the way over here. The, the same page of swords. So the divine is confirming that you got, you got some folks stalking your life. And I was picking up on that with the Book of Shadows, even though the Book of Shadows, as I said, is like, you know, your recipe book for your spells and, you know, some of your craft, your witchcraft. But I was just getting with that secret, like you got people secretly stalking your life, studying you. And then here we have it. So they are studying and watching you getting an eye full. And the Six of Pentacles is here. So this is somebody that was giving you like the bare minimums, breadcrumbing you along. That's what led to heartbreak, heartache, because they was given to multiple people. This is somebody that initially didn't see your worth and value. Somebody that you was putting all the time and the energy into. We got troop spread my wings. So you finally spread your wings and left that situation because you may have discovered all of the lies, all of the secrets this person was keeping. You discovered all of these people they was given to, you know. So this is like, you know, that energy of, you know, somebody who's realizing like you've you're healing, you know, you're recovering, you spread your wings. So that's like you are realizing you are not, you, you know, like that illusion is 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 now is, you're free from the illusion. You know, that's what I'm getting with spread my wings. That's freedom. You're freeing yourself from some sort of illusion. And maybe by you doing your due diligence to be that alchemist, that magi. By healing yourself, it's like it, it broke you free from this illusion and it ultimately um, helped you to start healing, you know, from this heartbreak. You know, you started to heal from that because, like I said, the alchemist is truly, you know, they're the conduits of change. They co-create with source. And that's really why there was patience necessary, because this was a process that was necessary for you to get to the next step. With the Seven of Pentacles, this is what you've been able to acquire on your own. We saw the Nine of Pentacles. So even though you was going through this heartbreak, even though you was dealing with this betrayal, this deception, you know, it's like you still was able to get this Seven of Pentacles on your own. And, you know, this is like a steadfast energy, very focused energy. Eyes on the prize, you know. So you spread your wings and you may have gotten... Um, you know, got a, got lost in something creative. Uh, you could have started to really invest more time and energy into your creative projects or into uh, a business or into your studies. Like this is really like you, you know, working on self-improvement. So why is altered dedication? Um, see, there goes that dedication. This is dedicated, you know, studying, student, studentship. And this is like, you know, I feel like your angels and your guides, you know, were kind of like guiding you to not get distracted by that past person. Keep your eyes on the prize. Spread your wings. Be free. That was a very liberating circumstance, even though it was painful. The secrets you discovered, 
it's like, you know, and this is says goddess of the moon. So this is how you were able to uh, morph into the goddess. You know, remember you had sun goddess and then we pulled the card goddess, lady goddess. Um, so this is how you were able to transform was through the pain. That's what transmuting pain and turning it into power looks like. So the secrets, the lies, all of the things people were saying to you that were untrue, you know, is literally just saying that, you know, and I just saw 59. So what is that? 12, 12. Oh, that's 14. I'm bugging. So that's like five, five. So that led to the ending. And the ending is always, you know, denotes a new beginning. That's like every ending denotes a new beginning. So that's how you emerged as this, this goddess was going through a painful loss. And we do see this broken heart here. So that 14, that 59, 59, that's 14. Like I said, and that 14, 14 reduces to five, five, which is 10. So this is you now becoming illuminated, trusting the, the divine guidance you were receiving, the transmissions, the downloads from spirit. Maybe you were having lucid dreams. Maybe some of you are going to do that little um, cup of water ritual that I spoke of earlier so that you could have your enemies revealed. But it's like they started to communicate with you and tell you what you needed to look out for. So why is the altar dedication and goddess of the moon here? And it fell on the floor. And so we have this four of swords. So this is healing, recovery, rejuvenating your spirit. This is why, because you were heartbroken. And this makes sense because the broken heart is right next to it, which could be like the, the three of swords. But this is recovery, you know, taking some time to assess, to go within. You know what I'm saying? Like this is really like taking onus, accountability, and even responsibility for what may have occurred in the past. Because maybe there were some red flags that you didn't pay attention to. You know, there was a lot of things that was going on. But this, there was this secretly happening. But I feel like the divine was giving you red flags. I feel like there was a lot of things that was hidden in plain sight. But at the end of the day, it's like you are mourning the death of a relationship. Because this person appears to be at like a grave site, at a graveyard. So it's like you are, you know, like mourning the death of that relationship but this is still an energy of recovery you know you could just be like in a hermit mode healing licking your wounds we have brownstone playing grapevine so some things may have come out um you know some some of those secrets that were being held from you they started to come out you heard through the grapevine so your angels and ancestors started to reveal certain things to you started to inform you of certain things you were not privy to certain truths started to come to light. I feel like you also felt like abandoned. Somebody could have left you for another person or you could have just discovered that there was like all these different options. This is why you were being breadcrumbed. This is why somebody was just um, always giving you the bare minimums. But I feel like you, you know, was dealing with someone who could have potentially, um, you know, they could have been a part of like group think you know, and, and they may have had some sort of control over you. And when you broke free, you broke free, like I said, from the illusion. Maybe there were addictions. Maybe there were some sort of afflictions. Uh, but I do feel like with this abandonment, it's like now you're able to see from the outside looking in that this was, you know, very toxic because it's almost like, as I said, like this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Like these people are all hooded. So it was like you were surrounded by a lot of fakes, fugazis, you know, and you could see this demonic entity is kind of controlling the masses. So it was like you were perhaps under mind control. And it could have been because, like I said, there was, you know, some sort of spell work that was being done. All of these people could be under mind control, you know, because it looks like this this entity here, that demonic entity could be controlling all of these people. And so whoever this is that's doing some sort of spell work to manipulate, you know, that's why there's these hostilities because you were the one that broke free and now you could see clearly. And so, you know, like I said, that's the threatening energy. They're feeling threatened because you now see them for who they truly are. And with through the grapevine, you heard it through the grapevine. It's like you now see the truth. You see the light. You've you've learned something. Something was revealed to you. So why is Wiccan Reed and hostilities here for who's praying for Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is Wiccan Reed? Thank you, spirit. 
and the bottom of the deck we have the three of wands so what did i say these these two people are kind of watching you know watching this ceremony so this is like they're, they're privately watching secretly watching so you do have an audience this person is studying you and this person is you know performing some sort of ritual works performing some sort of study um spell work here you know even if this is you down here performing your ritual work and spell work it's like there's there's people watching there's people very aware see this hangman so this is absolutely somebody who's really in a space where they're being forced you know to look at things from a different perspective not making any sudden moves um, and when they do make a move, like maybe they're realizing, maybe the divine, because remember I was saying karma. So karma is that they're going to have to be forced into this very um, sacrificial position in order to see the error in their ways because they were trying to take away someone's free wills and free liberty. With brown, the color brown, brown is the color of um, earth, you know, dirt so that's like a grounding energy so the divine is trying to you know somebody's up in la la land and he's trying to ground them trying to force them to see the error in their ways you know to calm them down to to force them to see that you can't manipulate that you can't control and so with this three of wands i am feeling like you know for for you you were able to see clearly you know, what someone was doing, what their intentions were, because I do get a sense of like, maybe this is even your energy, Scorpios, and you're able to see, you know, what these individuals were doing in turn in pertinence to, you know, some sort of ritual work. Maybe, as I said, like your enemies were revealed to you. So this is like the divine is revealing to you uh, what is potentially um, happening behind the scenes. We're about to clarify water and yin yang. And water is very reflective, just like the moon is reflective. So it's like, it's telling me that something in, with this grapevine, it's like something's being revealed. You know, so something's being revealed, something's being shown to you. So why is um, water and yin yang here? And so we have the five of chalices. So this is like, you absolutely, look at this. I see regret, I see shame on this person's face. I, I heard the word wailing, like somebody's literally wailing because I see that you've, you've left a situation. You're moving on. And you're moving on because, look, there's three people here. You know, there's three people. So there was a lot of um, chaos. There was a lot of people that were um, trying to work against you. And you're just, you're, you're freeing your energy. You're clearing your energy. You're cleansing yourself of this negativity. You know, and this is causing somebody to be um, saddened. You know, that's sad. That's like, you know, they, I, I heard the word wailing, though. And so look at this, the, the two of swords. So this was the indecision. And <clears throat> excuse me, he's playing. <clears throat> he's playing what appears to be like a, a, um, a violin. So it's like, you know, violins are like... Um, a lot of times people say, you know, they'll, they'll do the air violin when somebody's like singing some sort of sob story, but he's playing an actual violin. So it's almost as if somebody has regrets. This is somebody really, you know, now finally seeing, you know, the error in their ways, you know, finally seeing that their indecision cost them you, them not making a, a, a decision is why you're saying I'm not interested. You walked away because you felt like somebody was trying to dupe you, gaslight. Look at this demonic energy energy trying to offer her a book. So it's like you're not falling for the okie doke any longer. You know, and they may be trying to come off real sweet, you know, trying to sing you a little love story, singing you a sob story. Because we got Mary J. Blige sweet thing playing. So this is somebody trying to play it real sweet, but you can't dupe this energy right here. Very wise. This is like, to me, like almost, you know, that's the divine feminine because this is the number 47, which is 11. So you can't, you can't dupe the, the, the divine feminine, you know, because she's very intelligent, very aware. So let's see what we have. So we got to go back to the drawing board, re-strategize. So that's what this person was doing. This is like somebody like, you know, okay, that didn't work. Let me try something else because there's all these adjacent possibilities. It's like this person thinks that there's so many opp opportunities 
to like snuff you out or take you down or maybe they're just trying look look what we have on the split judas so this is that energy of that that um very hostile hateful deceptive person they're very persistent with go back to the drawing board re-strategize that's what they're trying to do they're trying to strategize a plan and they're going to come back now trying to act sweet because, you know, they know that you could catch a fly with honey, you know. I feel like you're taking care of you and you're not preoccupying yourself with anybody else. I feel like you're practicing self-love. I feel like the divine is going to give you some sort of downloads and you need to trust your intuition. This is saying you will know what to do. Trust your inner gumption. So when somebody comes back. It's like you're going to already know that they're not being sincere or they're not being real. They're not being genuine, which is why you, you taking off. What did I say about you radiating a light? And that's what this person is really drawn to. And that's what they think. They don't want to lose. They don't want to lose that. And they don't want anybody else to gain it because they know how valuable, valuable you are. They just didn't see that you were going to move on. They didn't see you leaving. And what did I say about this person right here having remorse? I was hearing somebody was wailing. So this person could be crying over you. You know, remorse, regret, shame. They now see the role they played. Yeah, they could see now because you done left. It's like you said, part in my back. So all of the games they was playing, all the people they could have been giving to and, and, and giving you the bare minimums, but giving so much to these other people. Now they see you mean what you say and you say what you mean and you're not interested in going backwards. What did I say about y'all needing to do a spiritual bath? It says spiritual baths are necessary. Sea salt, egg cleanse, Florida water. And that's what this cleansing is telling you as well. You got to release your past. Let them go because this person could be doing spell works to try to keep you stuck. You know, they could have even, you know, hired some sort of spiritualist to do some work on you. And you got to be mindful of that as well. But you are protected. You know, you are protected because we saw that guardian. And we also see the magic circle protection. So the divine is telling you to create a circle of protection for yourself. See this? This person wants to keep you going around and around on this emotional roller coaster ride. And it says make your next move your best move. Cycles. So if you don't learn the lesson, then you could repeat it. You know, so it's like you, you don't allow somebody to dupe you and mind F you. It's like, you know, you have to trust that you are what you're feeling. With synergy, I am drawn to you. I feel this is speaking to this yin yang energy. Somebody that you are attracting to you because you've changed your energy, your vibration is gonna be coming in. That's why you're leaving. You're, you're walking away, you're moving away from something that doesn't serve your highest good. And this synergy card is saying that that's like, you know, like a twin flame. Didn't I say y'all had a lot of eyes watching? It says, I always feel like somebody's watching me. And this is exactly what's going on. You got evil eyes watching. And may every evil eye that watched Scorpio go blind. So you got to be mindful of the evil eyes that could be watching and lurking and studying. Because you got the page of swords here. Remember that. And then you have the secret. So these are people secretly watching you, studying you. This book is very indicative of studying, learning. So they could be studying and learning you. These are the very people that was breadcrumbing you along before. And now they're so overly concerned with what you got going on. Well, where have you been all my life? That's going to be your sentiment when it's divine feminine or divine masculine comes in. So let's go ahead and cut this deck. Right now we have Brandy. And this is called Angel in Disguise. So that person that's coming in that you're going to be like, where have you been all my life? They're going to be your angel in disguise, your earth angel. This is the person that your ancestors, your angels are bringing in for you because this is your spiritual partner. So this is look, this is your bonus. This was sitting on the table. You have a single black, white female or male that wants your life, jealous, envious, sneaky, hater. So we already know that because we can see that somebody is stalking you clearly with this card. So this is like quadruple confirmation that what I just said is real. Like these people are stalking you and watching you. And these are people that you may not know. This could be a karmic, 
you know, but you have angels that are protecting you because we have Brandy singing angel in disguise. So I do feel like you have angels that are protecting you. You know, you're spiritually protected. That's why that protection card and the guardian card did uh, come out as well. And these are people you're familiar with, people that you know, people in your inner circle. So it says it's the chemistry for you, the inherent chemistry. So as I said before, with this energy of protection, if the energy don't feel right, because the chemistry and energy and synergy, those are all energy. Those are all forms of energy. Energy isn't destroyable. You can't destroy or um, you can't destroy energy, but you, it can be transferred. It's transferable. I feel for you, you're going to be trusting what you feel. You're going to trust that if the, the chemistry isn't there, if there isn't this, this inherent feeling that, that this is the one, then you already know. And I feel like for you, you're trusting what your, your, your spirit, what your inner, your higher self is telling you about somebody that may be coming back. Because I do feel like, you know, this could be somebody who's also coming towards you because they can sense that you have some coins, that you provide stability. But if the chemistry isn't right, you're not rocking with it because that's what you go by, the chemistry, the synergy. If you have people that only call you with bad news, it says it's time to stop accepting those calls for your own peace of mind. So whoever this person is, this person that's secretly watching you, they may call only to complain. They call to tell you all the bad things that's happening. And it's only so that they could transfer that negative and heavy energy over to you. They, it's almost like they calculate. It's very, they're, they're very calculating. It's like they do this to, to, to rain on your parade. And I feel like you cut this person off because you felt that. You started to feel like, dang, every time this person calls me, it's always with some bad news or it's always complaining about this is happening, that's happening. And you just started to protect yourself started to protect your energy. This is someone you already have a boundary with, but they may call you looking for sympathy and empathy. And I feel like you started to get privy to that or hip to that as well. So why is this book of shadows, broken heart, page of swords here, six of pentacles here for who's praying a Scorpio's downfall? You have a message of love and light. Thank you. It says, be thankful you fell down and got back up. So this person that was trying to plot and scheme and pray on your downfall, that was secretly in competition with you, um, that caused heartbreak, that stalks your life. It's like, like I said, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The divine is very, very pleased with your ability to be resilient, to stro show that strength, to embody that strength. Because whatever these people did, it was meant to destroy you. It was meant to, to, um, to, to take you out of equilibrium. And for a while it did. But you got back up, you know, this is be, you know, destroy and rebuild. That's like a tower, but you rebuilt and now you're very solid. You're standing perpendicular in your square. Um, you have Donnell Jones where I want to be. I feel like with this believe you can and you will, that's you remaining hopeful. You know, that's also you being in that, that alchemist energy of healing thyself and learning to love thyself. And when you love thyself, you begin to learn your worth, your value. And that's why as the lady goddess or even the feminine or the masculine energy, it's like now that you know your worth and value, you'll never settle. You create boundaries. So it was that, that belief, that optimism that brought you back up, that got you back up after you fell so hard, you know, you fell out of that tower. And now these individuals that were, you know, literally preying on your downfall, stalking your life, hoping that you would, you know, be out the game. They're now seeing that you have slowly uh, but surely started to rebuild, even though they didn't give you nothing because they was always breadcrumbing, giving you the bare minimums because they have multiple options. It's like now you've learned to trust how you feel, to trust that if the chemistry isn't there, then there's no relationship. So let's see, why is altar dedication the moon goddess and the four swords here. And we got love and happiness. So this is you. You started to learn to love yourself. You started to also um, summoning your ancestors and your guides for guidance. 
um, and they helped you to start healing yourself, going back and healing some of those past wounds, traumas, um, healing from, you know, even abandonment issues, betrayals. It's like, as I said, you had to take onus and accountability. If you were still holding on to the pain and the hurt, then you wouldn't know what this emotion of love and happiness feels like because love and happiness is an inside job. So as you start taking onus, accountability, and responsibility for the death of those relationships, you begin to learn to love yourself. So the divine started to reveal to you um, and unlocked some of those things that were hidden from you um, out of just, you know, protection of you. But I feel like you started to reveal, um, you know, the truths started to be revealed to you in pertinence to some of the lies and the secrets. I also feel you started to um, ask for and, and send up petitions, prayers, affirmations, write in your manifestation journals and even manifest um, this love and happiness, a spiritual union, a divine feminine and masculine. That's the heart of the matter. And it's because you went through a painful loss, but you've also grown. You know, this this is the world card in my deck and it has the sun, moon and stars. So it's like you've started to utilize your power. You started to realize you were the conduit of change that you could co-create with source. And so through the experience of pain, through the experience of betrayal, through the experience of deception, through the experience of living through an illusion, it's like you've changed your whole perspective. The divine gave you an opportunity to see things clearly. You became very illuminated. And that's what this goddess of the moon is. So things were illuminated to you. Things became very apparent. Some of you all were receiving downloads, um, divine interventions, like I said, transmissions. Um, some of you were also having lucid dreams. Uh, but you gained a deeper, more profound understanding and knowledge of yourself. And you also became spiritually aligned because you dedicated more time uh, to connect with the divine power of your angels, your guides, your ancestors. And this ultimately has made you wiser, made you, um, you know, access that wise dome. So why is Wiccan read hostilities, the hangman here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And it says you need a woosah, a vacay, a trip, spa day, mani petty, you deserve it. So yeah, this is somebody that you are now, you know, you're, you're, you're blocking this energy out. You may have put a line in the sand and said, do not cross my boundary. You're practicing self-love, self-care. You're more self-disciplined. Somebody now sees you in a different light because you're not focused on them. It's like, I'm not studying you. I don't fuck with you. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on my happiness. Somebody was very immature and childish. As I said, they felt entitled. Um, they also feel very, um, you know, possessive over you, you know, with this hostilities, they're frustrated because you've set a boundary because you're loving yourself. This is selfish, loving me, myself and I, that's the epitome of walking away from something that was leaving you emotionally bankrupt to begin with. And now they're hostile because you're not staying there to continue to take their abuse. Um, and so they may come back verbally abusing you, attacking you, or maybe they may try to physically attack you. And that's why I was picking up someone being very threatened, uh, threatening. Um, we have um, we have uh, Nina Simone, and this is strange fruit. So be mindful uh, not to eat everyone's food, um, because as I said, somebody is trying to take away someone's free liberties. Someone could be, you know, truly trying to do things um, in a very malicious manner. So with strange fruit, um, I'm just getting a sense of somebody like, um, you know, kind of doing some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of um, witch's brew, you know, to, to um, you know, cause alarm, you know, I mean, to cause, uh, to control some sort of situation. Um, with second childhood, again, like I said, this is a, a very immature energy. I want to get one more card for this Wiccan read that um, hostilities hangman. Why is Wiccan read hostilities hangman here for our beloved Scorpio for who's praying on their downfall? Wear your protective jewelry. See that? I knew it. Wear your protective jewelry and um, amulets to ward off the evil that lurks. So this is a very evil person. This is somebody very intentional as well. Very cunning. Very much a con man, con woman, uh, someone that's immature. If you're immature and evil, it's like that's somebody who is damn near like that's like uh, um, somebody who's narcissistic um, and feels like they have uh, they have a, a, um, a right 
to do this because they're they're feeling a certain way. So they don't even care about rules, laws, bylaws. That's why this Wiccan Read came up because they don't even they don't. This is why they're going to get karma, I feel, because what you put out in the universe, you get back. And with strange fruit, this is a strange, a very odd person. They could be like socially awkward as well. You know, it's like every time they open their mouth, it's like your eyes may roll up because you know it's a lie. But this is somebody that's very, they got it out for you. So that's why the divine is telling you, like, wear your protective jewelry amulets. And you do need to do like a spirit, a, a spirit bath because we did see spiritual bath. And we have Marvin Gaye, troubled man playing. So this is a troubled man. This is somebody very troubled, very meant like disturbed mentally. They're imbalanced. I was picking up somebody narcissist, narcissistic. So it's like, but they're narcissistic, like in a very negative way, like, like they feel like, like they have the right to do these things. Like it, it, it's in their right to do this to you, even though it's wrong. That's why this Wiccan read is here, because it's like they going against the laws, the bylaws, you know, to do something, even as far as putting something in your food. That's not right. Like you don't you don't do no ish like that to control somebody. And so like maybe somebody is being put on a ass like they, they're being put um they're being um they have to stay put it's like the divine is putting someone in a sacrificial position where they cannot move this is a part of their karmic um lesson also like they have to learn something it's like karma dharma because something that they've done is caused a lot of pain and you've washed you know your hands of this energy and so they've become very angry very hostile and the divine is telling you to protect yourself. This is like the umpteenth time protection is coming out. With the chemistry is real, you're coming into union with your divine masculine. It says words unspoken love. And, th and this is why you're questioning, you know, who these other individuals are because you don't feel that chemistry. You don't get all butterflies in your gut when somebody comes around. If anything, it's the opposite effect. But this here is showing that this twin flame that you are um, attracting to you, this person that is not speaking at this time, even those eyes that were watching is not just, you know, the haters. It could also be a secret admirer. You're moving on, you know, you're moving on to bigger and better. And this is why I was feeling like somebody's wailing. Remember, we saw the regrets and remorse. Somebody's regretting losing you. And with troubled men, they feel very troubled by this. So um, why is water uh, cleansing here? So we have thunder clapping, prepare, take shelter. So there's going to be some sort of argument. Somebody's going to try to, you know, argue with you. Or this could just be like um, unexpected news. You know, so this is not just bad news. This could just be unexpected or, you know, um, surprising news. And we have returned back to sender. Every evil eye shall go blind. So there are definitely um, some folks that are trying to send evil your way, send harm your way, malice. They have malice intentions. So divine spirit. And remember, I was picking up, I kept hearing inconspicuous, the inconspicuous enemy. So this is somebody in plain sight. This is a troubled man. Divine spirit 11. Let me get one more message for why is cleansing yin yang and this five of, what is that? The five of chalices here. Why is cleansing yin yang five of chalices here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? It says learn a new healthy recipe, eat to live, check the in ingredients here. So this is also telling you like um, your health is your wellness, your health. When you're healthy, you're wealthy. So for some of you all, you need to like really um, maybe you need to detox. Maybe some of you all need to do like a fast. I'm getting also you may need to fast. To reset, recharge, rejuvenate your body, your mind, your soul, so that you could get back into equilibrium. Because I do feel like y'all been through a lot. And it says go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. Let me get one more message. So that means that you need to do something. Like if you're seeking answers, you need to, you know, meditate to get it straight. The answers you seek are always found within. So you may need to meditate. You may need to unplug, detach, disconnect. Look how this card got got um, bent up. See that? And it says, go back to the drawing board, re-strategize. And remember, when we first picked up this deck, this is what it said.
I'm not feeling these messages. Be healthy. So the divine wants you to be healthy. Your health is wellness. You're like, you're healthy, you're wealthy. I keep hearing that. Healthy, is, you're wealthy. So maybe you need to be like, this is like preparing you for something because you need to be strong. And we got one more again. Somebody's going to come back around trying to play again. So they want you to be able, maybe because when you're eating healthy, you have clarity. You're able to see things clearly. When you're eating a bunch of junk food, it affects your mood, your mood elevated like you it could affect you. So the divine wants you to perhaps when you um, when you fast, when you cleanse, it's like you are closer to the divine. You have a deeper connection to spirit. You're like you're armored. And that's why they keep telling you. And somebody's going to come back because remember, this is the same energy as this adjacent possibility. It's like somebody keep trying, keep trying to, you know, infiltrate, keep trying to penetrate your 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 your, you know, protective defenses. So they, they're very persistent is what I'm hearing. Let me get one more message and then we're going to wrap it up. All right, spirit of love and light. Why is cleansing here? And it says mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. See that? And then mental health matters. Stop overthinking. So somebody is really like obsessed. I just get obsessed. And with one more again, they're coming back again. And with this mirror reflects, this is somebody that is in their shadow side. This is somebody that really is like, I just get obsessed, obsessed. And they could be a little um, disturbed mentally. That's somebody ruminating, pining, obsessing, obsessively thinking of you. Analysis paralysis, overly thinking. It says overthinking. And this is what somebody's doing. And that's why you need to like release this person, perform a release ritual because this person is like obsessed. And when you start getting into union, you come into union with your divine feminine or masculine, this could even be saying that you're in emotional equilibrium, you know, and um, by you finding that balance, you choose to move on, to walk, you know, to, to go away. And somebody is really taking it to heart. They're taking it very difficult with thunder clapping. That's saying that there could potentially be like that storm warning we were seeing where somebody's trying to come in and rain on your parade. But I feel like if you are, um, maybe you need to like, cause this water uh, cleansing could also be speaking to like detoxifying your body, being healthier, you know, cause what you ingest, you know, it can affect you. It affects your mind, it affects your body. And so the divine is telling you, look, some of y'all, y'all need to stop eating meat. Some of you all need to stop eating junk food because maybe it is like it's interfering with your ability to really be balanced, if that makes sense. Like you're out of equilibrium. But you need to assess something and the divine is trying to get your attention. Trying to get your attention. So maybe like if you're sitting around eating donuts and candy all day it, it's like it's affecting your it's like it's um your pineal gland i'm hearing could be decalcified or it can be calcified excuse me and so you may need to do a detox you may need to do a fast to decalcify your pineal gland so that you could see something clearly but we also have this blue heron shining star and feather here so it's like you are absolutely like very blissed, very protected. You are receiving some sort of wish fulfillment. And I feel like it's because you worked hard because whatever you went through, I feel like you got back up. You got right back up. So whatever was designed or intended to kill you, it didn't kill you. It made you stronger, especially being the death, you know, showing up first and foremost. It just shows just how, you know, much you've persevered from, just how resilient, how strong, how determined, you know, you have been. But the person that's praying on your downfall is going to be very persistent. And I feel like you got to keep your eyes on the prize. Do not get sidetracked. Keep your head on a swivel. Always trust your intuition and continue to practice. Um, continue protecting yourself by whatever means you do so. Definitely, you know, you may need to do like a rune by your 
uh, front entrance of your home. You could do um, a room uh, protection um, right by the entrance of your front door so that nothing can enter in. Some of you all may need to, um, you really may need to um, do a spiritual bath. You should do that anyway. Like you should, you know, take spiritual baths at least once or twice a month, you know, period. Especially if you're around people, you know, that we, we, we live in different times. So that's that should be just a part of your routine anyway is to do like um, protective rituals, you know, protect yourselves. I want to show you um, one of the runes you could do. This is a very protective um, rune. You could put that on the front on your front right by your front entrance of your home. You could also uh, draw this with a protective oil on your windows. But this is necessary because I feel like there's a very persistent energy. It's like they, they are persistent. And this is somebody that could be troubled because we had Troubled Man playing by um, Marvin Gaye. So there's somebody that's really up in their head over you over losing you and this is somebody that doesn't have good intentions they're very hostile and so we have Mary J Blige you plus me so this is somebody that's really um, like I said they really think that you know it's you you belong to them but I feel you're coming into a whole different connection a whole different union with someone and this is somebody that the divine your angels and guides are aligning you with because I feel like you've already gone through some sort of karmic lesson. You've learned the lessons. You've completed that karmic. Um, you've completed that chapter of your life. And now you're destined to come into a spiritual union with the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. Because you are now evolved into this divine feminine or divine masculine. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Um, if you are new, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know. <laughs> love is love is love. Um, I want to give a shout out to two beautiful souls who um, sent me love donations. I truly appreciate you, lovely ladies. I want to say thank you to the following Dawn. Uh, thank you, beautiful soul, for that love donation. I rotate it back to you infinitely. Thank you so much. Um, and I also want to say thank you to uh, Dorothy. Thank you, Dorothy, for your love donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I rotate that love donation back to you infinitely. And I send you all love and light. Until next time, peace.